To start the navigation, we need to do just a few things. First, let's leave a comment. We're just gonna leave a comment that will make us that will make it easy for us to identify what we are styling. You appreciate all these comments more when you visit this code again, maybe in like six months or thereabouts. And let's call this navigation. In the navigation, we're going to target some classes. So let's even look at what the classes look like. Now, under the navigation, we have like the dashboard, which wrap the entire document. Then we have the navigation class. In the navigation, we have the logo. After the logo, then we have all the images, all the, all the icons. But there's something missing anyways. Let's see our design. We have the user image at the bottom. Since we missed that, let's try to add it. We can just have that just below. And just have image. Then let's use assets. We can use the user too. We can just call this user image then if we check it we should see the user image which is very cool but one thing we can still do is we can add a class of user so that we can use css to target this specific image since we have another image here this is cool all right let's go back to our css and see what we can do we can target the dashboard so this has to do with specificity. We want to use combine multiple classes just to make sure that even when you copy this very code and place in a project, an existing project, you won't have clash of classes. So we're going to just target navigation. On mobile, we want them to display flex. Display flex. You can see, which is cool. We want them to share this, the space between. Space between. Also, we wanted to take the width of 100%. And finally, we want margin top to be like 10 pixel. So we just want small margin at the top, which is cool. Let's give our logo a class of logo. So we can also target that with CSS. Then we want to duplicate this and just have image, then any image that contains the logo we want it width of 50 pixel. The height too should have the same thing. Height of 50 pixel. Let's refresh and see. Cool. Then we want the border radius to be like 10. 10 pixel. You can see border radius. So let's target the user as well. We're going to target the user. You can see the user as well. Now we need to target this icons and push it down a bit so that it's on the same line. Then we want like a space in between them because they look too clumsy. For us to do that, we are going to duplicate this as well. Then let's remove this image. But this time around, we want to target the div. Let's see what we're doing. Div then with this class name. So 
So let's give them margin left and right. We can just give them like five pixel. Let's duplicate this one and just make it right. Cool. So you can see that we have enough space. Let's see if we can increase the font size a bit to like 30 pixel. Font size 30 pixel. Just big a bit. Then we want the color to be like pound 727272. Just a bit dark gray, which is cool. Okay, what's left right now is to give it the margin top. So let's just target the div class and just apply it a margin of top. Then the margin of top can just be like 10 pixel. You can see that we have it just a bit down. Which is cool. First, to be sure of what we're doing, let's use an app called Responsively, or a Responsive app. The app is going to help us to check multiple screen sizes at the same time. As you can see, we have several screen sizes, and these are all the sizes that we are going to cater for. First, we are dealing with the mobile. It looks pretty well on mobile, but what we need to start going forward is this search section. And that's what we'll be doing in the next lesson. So see you in the next one. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media handle so that you'll be notified each time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.